Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Mr. Ainsworth, and I want to go over this morning how uh, to easily save your work and also publish your Desmos work uh, as a PDF so you can submit it into Canvas. Because lately, you guys have been going through section seven here. You've going through pages one, two, and three on graphing functions, uh, the family of functions, linear, quadratic, cubic, and exponential. And you guys are incorporating the use of Desmos, the graphing calculator, and generating these functions. And I asked you to save your work and, and save it as a PDF and also submit it. And some of you guys are not sure how to do that. And your guys are sending me hyperlinks and that's not the way to do it. Uh, so let me just show you a simple, easy way to submit your Desmos work as a PDF and not share it with me as a hyperlink. So the first thing you need to do is have a folder on your desktop somewhere, either on your desktop or in your document folder or in your Google Drive. It doesn't matter where you put it. You just have to make one, MRWC. So I'm just making one right there. Open it up. You should have subfolders. So for each section, we're in section seven. So if you don't have this set up already, go ahead and set it up. If you, I've talked about this last semester, so hopefully you guys have been doing this and you already have sections one through six in there. Uh, if not, then you know start organizing it. So you, you need your sections. We're gonna be discussing section seven, eight. We're gonna go as far as we can in the curriculum. All right, but we're in section seven. So you set up the MRWC folder and then you have section seven set up. That's where you're gonna put your files and your PDFs. So first step is to get a folder and label it MRWC. Step number two, you go through the activity. So you just went through two different lessons. This first one here was on graphing and it says right here you need to scan all Desmos work. Well, in this activity here, you should have generated all these functions. Okay, this is what I produced when I ran the video and I produced it. The question is, how do you get this? How do you share with me? How do you submit it into Desmos? Excuse me, into Canvas. So in the upper right hand corner of Desmos, there's a share icon. And if you hover above it, the typical share icon here, you'll see it says share graph. Okay. Now you're not going to share the hyperlink. That's what some of you guys are doing. I don't want you to do that. Okay, so don't copy it or anything. You want to print, believe it or not. Okay, now I don't mean print as a piece of paper. If you go to the print dialog up here, you can print it to one of your printers at home and your printer will pop up. These are just my available printers in my home, in my network here. But what you want to do is you want to save it as a PDF. Okay, that's the option that you want because you can only submit PDFs in Canvas. So you select that, you click on save and it's going to ask you where you're going to save it. Now I put the MRWC uh, uh, d uh, folder, excuse me, okay, on my desktop. So notice that the MR, I click desktop here, I click on MRWC. Notice the two sections I set up, we're going to go into section seven. And then because I called it uh, this on in Desmos, this the name of it pops up. But if the, if the, the name that pops up is not appropriate, uh, then name it. Okay, so this is uh, pages one, two, and three. So just give it a name. Prerequisites graphing pages one, comma, two, comma, three. All right, and then save it in there. So watch what happens. I'm going to go back to my desktop now. I'm going to open up the folder that I created, open up section seven, and there it is. So this is the work that was produced uh, through Desmos. So let me decrease it so you can see it. Okay, and here are all the functions that I created through Desmos. This is what you need to submit uh, in Canvas. And since it's a PDF, you can do that. So you submit your work using Adobe Scan. You go ahead and, you guys already know how to do that. So go ahead and upload it to Canvas. And then because this is a PDF now, okay, it's a PDF, you can upload this document too. And this is how you could simply print your work to a PDF and not a real, you know, you know, piece of paper here. You don't have to actually print it and then scan it. You just save it as a PDF and that's it. And that's what you guys need to do. Instead of sending me hyperlinks in an email, please don't do that. All right. And some of you have, and I keep on asking you guys, do not do that. Print it to a PDF and then upload it from there. So hopefully this helped you guys out. Uh, you're using Adobe Scan for your work that you create. Okay. In when you go through the lesson, this is, uh, this is what you guys were working on right here, not the end result. Uh, this is what it looks like at the, on the end result. So this is what you produced through the lesson here. 
and then you go ahead and scan this using Adobe Scan as a PDF and then upload it to Canvas. And then, like I just said, go to uh, your Desmos, print it to your PDF in your correct folder, and then upload it from there. Okay, and this is what what it looks like when you when you print it to a PDF. Okay, it shows all the graphs that you create plus all the functions. Hopefully that helps you guys out. If there's any other needs, I will see you guys in class and I'll discuss anything else. All right, take care. Bye-bye.